Hi everyone, I'm Nina Lichtenberg. I'm a neuroscientist and a science writer at NANDS. Hi everyone, my name is Ryan Richardson and I am also a neuroscientist at the NINDS. Hello, and I'm Sarah Robinson Schwartz, also a neuroscientist at NINDS. Today, we're going to be talking about an activity called exactly how do we protect our brain? So we know our brain is important for everything from who we are to how we learn to what we do every day. We also know that the brain is a really delicate organ. And if we don't protect it from injury, we could end up with a concussion or even something more serious, like a traumatic brain injury. So when you get a concussion, your brain bounces around inside your skull. This bouncing can damage your neurons or nerve cells. Sometimes a concussion can cause you to be knocked out or go unconscious, but not everyone with a concussion gets knocked out. There are many symptoms of a concussion, including headache, nausea, vomiting, dizziness, confusion, slurred speech, and saying things that don't make sense. A closed brain injury is the most common type of brain injury. Closed means that the skull and the dura mater, so the tough membrane that surrounds and helps protect the brain, aren't penetrated. You can compare this with a type of brain injury where the skull gets broken and the brain is exposed. Ouch. This is a really severe type of brain injury that is less common but can result in severe impairment or even death. A concussion is a type of closed brain injury. Fortunately, there's a really easy way to protect our brain. Does anyone know what that might be? If you guess a helmet, that's right. You should really wear a helmet when you're riding your bike, on a scooter, a skateboard, or participating in any kind of sports like skiing or football. So to start the experiment, I'm putting my egg inside of a plastic bag. Surrounding your brain to help protect it is a tough membrane called the dura, which helps prevent your brain from rubbing against the hard bone of your skull. It's also gonna help make us make less of a mess when we drop our eggs. I made my helmet out of this box with some bubble wrap and rubber bands. I made my helmet out of two cups taped together. My egg in the Ziploc bag is inside of these cups. I made my helmet out of some plastic containers with some plastic bags and then the sponge. So we talked earlier about how delicate your brain is and how injuring it can cause a lot of problems. So hopefully you remember some of that list from earlier about the symptoms of a concussion or traumatic brain injury. US law requires bike helmets to pass a test drop from two meters or about six and a half feet onto a flat surface. By the time the helmet hits, it's traveling at about 14 miles per hour. In this exercise today, we're gonna to be testing our eggs by dropping them from about six and a half feet. What do you think might happen to our egg brains without a helmet? Is everyone ready to drop their egg brain? Three, two, one. Let's see what happened to our eggs. I wonder how my helmet did. Sarah, how did your egg look? Let's find out. I'm gonna open up my box. Looks like my egg survived. Ryan, how did your egg fare? Let's see. All right, so let me open up my helmet. It looks like my brain also survived. Woohoo! So I thought my helmet was going to do a pretty good job, but 
that looks like the cup's cracked and my egg does not look very safe. So let's see how my egg brain turned out. I thought that my helmet was gonna do a pretty good job. I mean, these cups look really strong and I taped it really well, but it looks like my egg brain got really damaged. Remember, some head, or head injuries aren't so obvious like concussions. You're not always gonna see a cracked skull. You might have other signs and symptoms like nausea, vomiting, dizziness, which we discussed earlier. What would you do if you or your friend hit your head, even if they're wearing a helmet? Well, you should make sure that you talk to an adult and get some help immediately. We hope you learned a bit today about the importance of head safety and the challenges of concussions. Make sure you get your parent or teacher's help when setting up this activity. Have fun. If you want to learn more about your brain, don't forget to download a copy of Know Your Brain. Check out the link in the description. And don't forget to wear your helmet. Thanks for joining us today. We hope it was fun.